guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a collab with one of my good friends here on YouTube. Her name is Aleda Castro. I'll leave all of her information and link down below where you can go subscribe to her and check out her channel because she's awesome and I love her. So if you guys want to see the collab that we did, make sure to go ahead and check out her video to this collab. I will leave it right now for you guys. She's awesome, so make sure to go check it out. We did a get ready with me for summer. Also, I will have all of the makeup products that I used down below in the down bar, like always. And the hair part, I did not show you how I did the hair, but I used my Remington wand. I really stink at hair, so that's why I don't really do it. But if you guys are interested in a tutorial, make sure to let me know. So this is basically the look that I came up with. If you guys want to see it, then please keep on watching. Hey guys, so this is me barefaced. I'm going to be taking my hair tie and just tying back my hair to get it out of my face and then I'm going to be taking my NYX Angel Veil to act as my primer. Hello and I'm feeling fly. It's hot with the sunny sky. We laugh out like every night. We can do what we want to. We roll with the windows down. Meet up with the boys in town. We go For foundation, like always, I'm going to be using my Revlon Color Stay Whipped in the shade 250 Medium Beige. And I'm just evenly distributing this along my entire face to give a nice base and just kind of hide any redness and give a nice clean canvas. Always remember you do not have to wear all this foundation and whatnot. You can use a BB cream, whatever you feel comfortable with. further disguise any redness or pimples or anything along those lines, I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20 with a damp beauty blender. I'm also going to be bringing this in a V-motion underneath my eyes to brighten up everything. summery dewy highlight I'm going to be using my elf facial whip in lilac petal it's so gorgeous it just gives the nicest radiant glow to your face and I think it's perfect for summer using my elf flat top brush I'm just going to blend everything together to prime our eyelids for some shadow, I'm going to be using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and I love this stuff. It literally locks my eyeshadow on all day long, and it also covers up some redness, so it's really great for hiding any of those discolorations that we don't want seen. While that's drying on my eyelids, I'm going to go ahead and put on my bronzer for a little bit of a quick contour. I'm going to be using my Benefit Hula bronzer. It's my favorite bronzer ever, and I'm going to just be putting it on the areas where like the sun would hit, so like the temples, and then giving like a quick contour to the cheekbones to make the face look a little bit slimmer. And then of course I'm going to be blending all of this out with a flat top brush so we have no harsh lines and everything is pretty much seamless. Now back over to the eyes, I'm using my Lorac Pro Palette in the color Sable, which is my favorite color to use in my crease and outer corner. I'm lightly placing this in the crease and outer corner because I'm using like a natural kind of look and I just want a little bit of depth and definition on the outer part of my eye, but nothing too major because this look is going to be pretty natural. And yeah, I'm just going to be using a dome brush to place that in the crease and then I'm going to be blending it away with a blending brush. Baby, you're so classic. Four dozen roses. Anything for you to notice. 
all the way to serenade you, doing it tonight just stop. I'ma pick you up in Cadillac like a gentleman ring. For the inner portion of my lid, I'm going to be taking my NYX single eyeshadow in Immaculate and just placing that on my inner portion. And it's just this really nice kind of beige, neutral kind of color. Next for brows, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Amazonian Clay Brown Mousse and I'm going to be placing this obviously on my eyebrows and it is in the color Taupe. This is a new product of mine so I'm not 100% sure of how I feel about it yet. I think I like it so far, but if you guys want to see a review or anything along those lines, make sure to let me know in the comments below, but I'm basically just going to be applying this to my brows, keeping my natural shape and yeah, how I normally do them. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going to be taking that same immaculate color that I use for my lips and I'm going to be placing that right underneath my brows to make them look a little bit more uplifted and just brighten up the whole eye area. To give that bright and wide awake eye look, I'm going to be taking my NYX waterproof eyeliner in white and lining my lower waterline. As for lashes, I'm going to go ahead and use my Dior Blackout Mascara and I'll be right back. Bam! There I am. Full lashes. Complete power of editing. So here we go. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. blush and I'm going to be placing that on my fingers, kind of rubbing it together because it does come out highly pigmented. And then I'm going to be placing it where the blush would normally go. I like to put a little bit on my apples and then bring it towards the back. So it looks, I don't know, just super nice for summertime. And then to complete my simple summer look, I'm going to be taking my NYX Butter Lipstick in Hubba Bubba and placing that on my lips. And then I'm going to be taking my Color Elixir in Nude Illusion to place over top of that in the center. For my hair, I use my Remington wand. I'm not sure what ish this is, but this is how I got these curls. And then I'm just hairspraying it down in the place that I want it to be. And that's basically it for hair and makeup. As for my jewelry, I'm just wearing some Alex and Ani bracelets, some bracelets from Forever 21, and my earrings are from Forever also. This is my completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it somewhat helpful. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.